So in this video, we wanna share with you guys the three things that one should be looking for when finding a mentor. My name is Bashar Arkad and I'm the founder of BJK University, an education company with a mission to impact 1 million lives at a time. So I remember one of my personal experience, uh, you know, many years ago, um, wanting to start my own business, wanting to become successful in business, wanting to do something entrepreneurial and kind of have my own thing. I just didn't know where to start. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to look for. And I would, it was just simply throwing a whole bunch of stuff at the wall and hoping something sticks. And at that point, my family and I started our first business in America, which was a local pizzeria, and that did pretty well. And then I went and I started my second business and I just didn't know what I was doing and it failed. And you see, when I went into that business, I thought I knew what I was doing because I had been watching reality TV, Bar Rescue, John Taffer, rescuing bars and restaurants on reality TV for six months and I thought I knew it all. And this is where these three things came for me because this year alone, I've invested over $560,000 in mentorship, wow. consulting, coaching for myself and our company, BJK University, just simply because I believe and coaching so much because I believe that regardless what it is you're trying to accomplish in life, someone else has done it. And instead of going through trial and error to find it, accelerate your learning curve. People always ask me, what is the cheat code? What is the shortcut to success? This is the shortcut to success. This is literally the only shortcut to success, right? Is to find someone who's five, 10, 20 years ahead of you and tap into their system. But even when you find that person, there are three things that I'm gonna share with you guys in this video that are important for you to, 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 to actually do and make sure that that person has. Because just finding someone who is ahead of you five, 10, 20 years and is willing to help you doesn't mean that they are the, the best mentor. Finding the right mentor for you that fits your needs, that fits your desires is super important and that's what we're gonna share with you guys in this video. But before I do that, if you guys want BGK University to help you throughout your Amazon journey and help you start your first Amazon business or scale your existing Amazon business, click below this video to find out how BJK University can help you. All right, so Lorraine, um, obviously, you know, you are one of our students and then and then now are a coach at BJK University. And, and obviously you value, um, you know, uh, um, coaching and you value uh, learning from someone else. So I guess what I want to learn from you or what I want to ask you is, what is the very first thing that you were looking for when you were trying to find a coach? Or what do you believe that is the first thing that one should be looking for when they are looking for a coach? First thing I look for is somebody who knows a whole lot more than I do, <laughs> because I want to learn from them. You know, I want to keep on growing, keep on learning. You know, throughout my business career, when I opened up my business, I had a mentor. Okay, and he was good. Oh my gosh, he's good. I still am in contact with him today, of course, because he still has life lessons to teach me. So somebody who's been there before you, somebody who's made the mistakes, you know, before you, somebody who's honed their skills and somebody who wants to share. I want somebody who's not keeping secrets from me because they want to, you know, well, I'll share this with you and I'll share that with you, but I'll keep this for myself so I can stay above. You know, that's selfish. You want somebody who gives of their time, gives of themselves, and wants to mentor people, wants them to succeed, wants to see the best in that person come out. So this is what I'm looking for in a mentor. And, and I found that when I came here, um, I, I was a student and I was uh, working with Amar and Hend who are our, our uh, coaches at the time. We only had two at the time. And I listened to them and I saw the knowledge coming out and I saw the kindness and compassion and I saw that passion to yeah. help every single person that was in our community. And I loved that. And I just started asking them questions and I slowly got to know them more personally. And I just, you know, without them knowing, they just became my mentors. <laughs> I didn't ask permission. I just went after it because that's what I wanted. And to this day, you know, they add great value to my life. They add great value to my business. They add great value to the coaching team. and and working as a team and learning from them on a daily uh, it's inspiring and it inspires me to do the same for others so um this is how it's done you know we 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 reach our hand out and help the next person so having a mentor and, and somebody who's much more knowledgeable in the field that you want to learn is key they've got to have their ducks in a row 
you know, awesome. make sure that it's just not fly by night giving you little tidbits. They really want to share what they know. I love the fact that you said someone that's ahead of you. And I have a rule that is someone that I'm trying to learn from needs to have at least a 10 year experience ahead of me, right? So mm -hmm. they need to be 10 years ahead of me. And I know with BJK University among myself and, and the coaches, we have over 20 years experience that our students have. So a minimum of 10 years that that person needs to have um, ahead of you, or they need to be 10 years ahead of you in that subject that you're trying to learn, for, uh, learn from or learn in from them. So that's the very first thing. What's the second thing that you believe that a mentor should have that one should need, you know, when, when looking for a mentor? They're adding content and value. You know, hmm. it, it just doesn't, it, it doesn't end and they're learning themselves too. They're continuing to learn. Hmm. So, I mean, there's no cap on what we can learn. So if they're constantly getting better at what they do and they're learning more things, the more things that I will be able to learn from them. Because here, what we're doing is we're constantly learning by trial and error, more trial and more success than error, but the errors do come. You know, and we learn how to avoid these pitfalls. And when I can learn from them, they're gonna tell me what to avoid. And I'm gonna take that at face value. I'm not gonna dismiss that because I think I know better because I'm learning from them. I cannot have my ego in the way. The ego mm -hmm. is the worst thing for a business ever. If you're learning from a mentor, blank canvas yourself, go all in. Go all in and learn and be a sponge. And this is how you have the best advantage to succeed in what you're doing. And you become better, better than yesterday, better than the day before, better than last week, better than the year before. You just keep wanting and desiring to get better by learning from people with the experience. That's interesting that you said that. Um, you know, something that I, that I realized is ego can really get in the way of learning because having gone through uh, a restaurant business and lost hundreds of thousands of dollars and then realizing that okay i that happened because i didn't know how to run a restaurant and i should have probably you know brought on a consultant or something when i started amazon you would think that i've learned my lesson and that i should actually get by a course or take a you know whatever but i didn't and then you know i had to lose another seven thousand dollars and launch three dead products until i finally said okay i need to buy a course um but it was because it was my ego because I was following this kid. I think it was like 17 or 18 at the time. And I was like 25 and this kid had no real life experience, no real business experience. And to me, it was like, who's this 18 year old kid? I've ran businesses. I'm going to learn from them. Like no way. And one thing that I, I, I realized is that you can learn from anyone and everyone, regardless of their age and regardless their other beliefs right you can take the things that you want to learn from them in that specific topic and then you don't need to you know to to believe or align with them on the other things right maybe uh you know someone is a republican and you're a democrat or or whatever it is you know they're i don't know a different religion or something something that you don't agree with well that doesn't matter because that's not the subject that you're trying to learn from them right and so and then what i loved what you said was uh, someone that's actually out there putting constant value and learning themselves mm -hmm. because you don't want someone that's kind of like made it in life and is resting on their laurels because this person is not ahead of the curve and they're probably are not going to know of what's happening and all the changing and shifts in the markets and that they need to teach you and be 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 aware of so that way they can kind of trickle down the the information down to you, right? Absolutely. If they stop learning, then my uh, then I stop learning. Mm. And we always want to be green and growing. Right. <laughs> you know, Absolutely. we want to keep going. We want to keep going. We want to keep because the world is changing. Why do we stop? Right. If we stop when the world is changing, like we're going through a lot of stuff right now, the world is changing. Of course, we want to be up on it too. And my mentor, he's already got all this motivation and he keeps going. So when he knows something, I get to know it. And that's right. a huge advantage to me. Absolutely. All right. So what is the third thing? And by the way, uh, guys, if you're enjoying this and if you believe that BJK University can really help you out among our, our students, uh, among our coaches, we probably have over 20 years of experience, multi seven and potentially even eight figures in earned income. So if you want us to help you, help guide you through this process, click the link, the link below this video to talk to one of our enrollment advisors to see if first we can help you and second, if you qualify to enroll in BJKU, 
as a whole. So what is the third thing that um, you believe that one should be looking for in a mentor? I believe one should, uh, and and this goes to a short story of mine. Uh, don't have somebody with, that brings a lot of baggage to the table, okay? Mm. I don't want to hear the negative. I don't need the negative. I need the positive going forward. I'm a positive person. I want to keep on growing. I want to keep on going. And if I'm going to say, well, this happened and that happened and blah, that, that, that's irrelevant to me. So when, when I learned this at a very early age, before I even owned my first company, that I took, I didn't like my job, but I liked the guy who was uh, the boss. And I found one positive thing from him. And I stored that with me. And throughout my life, when I started working different jobs, oh, I can't stand this boss. Well, what is it I don't like about him? This, this, and this. What does he do right? Nothing. So everything that I learned about this person, I vowed never to bring it forward when I became a boss and when I be, was able to mentor other people. So each time you meet somebody that is in a position of authority, if you can find one thing to take away with you, these are the things that you're looking for moving forward in your life. And if you're going to be, you're going to have your own business, you're going to be learning and people are going to learn from you. So in all facets of life, when you're running a business and you take with you the best qualities ahead, you will, uh, you will be mentoring people. You will be answering questions. That's you right. will be reaching the hand down. So take with you the best qualities and you're looking for this in a mentor as well. You're not looking for a whole bunch of baggage excuses and, and whatnot. You're looking for the forward, the, the forward thinking, ever changing, motivated, experienced person. And this will help you grow. And then in turn, it's, it's just like paying it forward. That's right. Absolutely. And I think you had a bonus. Is that something you still want to share? Oh, <laughs> I think, um, okay. When you're looking for a mentorship a program with a mentorship, look for, uh, you know what they have, um, programs that will give you like, um, like say a $47 program that will just let you see it's an introductory. So you can see inside. If you can see see inside how things actually are, you're not going in blind. Now, this is smart. This is very smart if you can do that. If you can find something that somebody that will show you what's going on and, and show you the value that you're getting instead of diving in blind, you know, that's that's huge. You know, and then you can see that, you know, whether it's fake or not, you know, because we don't want to waste our money because a real program costs, you know, we're investing in ourselves. And, and if you want to go for uh, an all in on a $47 program, then you get what you pay for. You know, basically, that's how that works, because you're investing in yourself, your future, your family, all the things that you want to do. We're placing our faith in ourselves. Now, if you can find where there's mentors that are in there that what they are passionate about is helping you and you can see this live wow that's huge so yeah. it's a bonus if you can if you can get something where you can see inside yeah, and, and, something, and then make an executive decision absolutely something that i learned over the years people will buy the new iphone every single year and spend a thousand dollars twelve hundred dollars fifteen hundred dollars they'll buy the bag they'll buy the bill they'll buy the shoes but then when it comes to investing in themselves they become cheap Oh, this is too expensive. It's two thousand dollars. It's too much. It's five thousand dollars. It's too much. Ten thousand dollars. Too much. It's like, dude. And over the last, you know, thirty-six months, you've probably spent like thirty thousand dollars on things, you know, that are just consumer goods that have and half of them we don't have anymore. Right. That you brought you zero like value, you know. And so, just to understand that you are where you are in life due to the lo your level of awareness. And if you want to go to the next level, you need more awareness. And that could be bought pretty much, right? But do understand that comes with a cost. And then so think about like, how much am I worth? How much am I worth? To me, I'm worth all the money on planet Earth, right? And this is why, and I mentioned this in the uh, beginning of this video, I personally have invested over $560,000 in coaching, mentorship, and masterminds this year alone, just this year, right? And that's because I value information, because I value mentoring, because I know that in order for me to take myself and our company to the next level, I need to tap into people that have that information. And at this level, these people are a little more expensive than they were two, three, four years ago, because before I could, you know, 
buy a five thousand dollar course and 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 get whatever information I need to go to the next level. But now it's like you know it's we're playing on a, a different uh, a different game. So don't look at things and say it's expensive when it comes to improving yourself. And then look at a, a two thousand dollar bag and bend you know backwards to go out of your way yeah. to like do whatever you can to buy it. It's it just that whole concept doesn't make any sense for me. You know what I mean? And see, the great thing about it is that five hundred thousand dollars that you're spending to invest in yourself and the knowledge is money well spent because whatever you're learning, you're sharing with us. Right. So that money is also being invested in all of us too. Which Absolutely. thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. More knowledge. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, guys, if you've enjoyed this video so far, please do me a favor and smash the thumbs up button. If you want to learn from BJK University, from all of our coaches, and everything that I've learned over you know the hundreds and thousands of dollars and millions of dollars that I've invested in myself, all of our coaches in the company, click the link below this video to find out how you can enroll in BJKU. Outside of that, we'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Aloha.